Hey, hey, hey guys, it is Ray here with you today. And today we are doing something unusual. We had a great week, we've been working hard, we've been having fun. It's time to pamper ourselves and give ourselves a good care. So that's what today's video is about. It's about skincare, uh, taking makeup off, relaxing and pampering. Let me start with taking my makeup off with you. I will be sharing my faves, my tips, um, and let's just chit chat. Even when I'm at home, I wanna look put together. That's why I'm doing this kind of makeup, which is super light. It's not too heavy on your face. It's just relaxed one. But it's time to take it off. It's been a fun day. I'm first I'm taking the cotton squares. I'm going through them so fast so uh, I've been trying the rounds and ovals and right now it's squares basically I don't really care what is it unless it has a, at least some shape to take my makeup off I'm getting my uh, micellar cleansing water by Garnier let's give it a good shake so this one is the most recent one I just got it before that I've been using my B face uh, Clinique, the purple one. What I love to do, I'm just soaking my makeup off, especially when it's a heavy makeup. I'm just putting it on both of my eyes at the same time. Let me pop! So I'm just giving my mascara and eyeliner and if I have shadows, I'm just giving it time to soak, kind of rubbing it with my fingers. So the, the water spreads nicely Whoa. and uh, then I'm just wiping it off so after I'm done with my eyes I'm just wiping the entire makeup off the same product the same cloths on the label uh, of the water it says that uh, you don't even need to wash it off with the regular tub water and uh, it is so funny and so not true because on a label it says that it absorbs the excess of makeup and the oils and as you know the oils are in our skin and it is our skin's natural barrier and protectant and whatever you do not wash it off uh, your skin keeps producing the oils and the leftovers of the water they're still there and they're still absorbing so it makes your skin work harder and after that like if you will do it for a long long time if you will not wash it off and for like weeks and months uh, your skin may start producing even more oils and you will get to the oily skin type so it's something you do not want so whenever you use this product it is it's great it does its job and uh, it takes makeup so well it takes it off uh, but please do not rely to the label that says you do not have to wash it off you do need to wash it off with the water with the regular tub water in order to have your skin healthy not extra oily with the good protective barrier so that is exactly what i'm gonna do right now and we'll be right back okay my face is clean and freshly washed and uh feeling fresh i've been washing it with my kills um, calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash and i love this one here i mean you can tell it's almost half bottle gone it's supposed to clean your skin calm it down take the redness away and even uh, to some extent it's, it's supposed to be antibacterial uh, because that's what the calendula does uh, the calendula flower and it is for normal to oily skin my skin is combination type the only thing uh, right now winter time it is totally insane I've got so dry so and where uh, it's where I go to the step two the toner my favorite and I literally I want to bathe in it <laughs> I'm just so obsessed with it I go bottle after bottle after bottle uh, and I can't believe what I did now <laughs> and I will tell you later I'm 
just so shook about myself. Let's reveal the secret. <laughs> it is a Sisley Floral Toning Lotion. And I mean, look how much is left. So I'm taking my cotton square and I kind of soak it with it. The way you're supposed to use the toner, I do even apply it to my eyes. You're not supposed to, but I do. Your skin is supposed to feel wet after using the toner. And why do we need it? Um, the toner we need to, of course, first of all, tone our skin. It hydratates uh, and also it removes the excess makeup, the, which one is not removed by the washing it and taking the makeup off with a cleanser. So for the hydration I will go uh, for the serum and the uh, face cream. So what I'm using right now, I'm running out of it. Uh, it is the Avalon Organics, the Intense Defense with Vitamin C Serum and Matching Cream, the Renewal Cream. So I will go for two pumps of serum. It is very lightweight, I mean... I just pat it into the skin and it soaks in. It's just, it doesn't stay a second in my face. And the um, defense cream. The greatest thing about all that skincare is that it smells like an orange. It's so citrusy and fresh and nice. So here's the cream. Uh, so what I love to do with it, especially before going to bed, that's what we're going to do right now. Adding some drops of the uh, Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kills. So it has this convenient dropper. And I just mix it all together really well and put it into my skin. I just pat it. That's the best time to do your uh, face massage because you have oils and you will not pull your skin. So uh, if you want to, you can do it. I love doing it this way. And don't forget when you put the cream on your neck, you're supposed to do that because nothing tells you about the age of a lady than her neck and hands. Don't forget to put your cream on your neck from bottom to top. Don't pull your skin down because you will get wrinkles. <laughs> Once you pull it up, you will still get some with aging, but uh, you're not pulling it and uh, you are not speeding up that process. So along with the micellar water, sometimes on my face, not my eyes, because my eyes don't go along with this one, um, I use the Daily Facial Toilets uh, by Kirkland. I use them to remove the makeup from my face and neck, not my eyes, but mostly I use them to remove it from my skin, uh, from my hands when I'm filming <laughs> or something. So let me tell you about a few more things right now and then we'll jump to the hole. Two essentials here um, is the oils. Um, I'm not obsessed, but I love oils. Uh, I love vitamin E oil and I believe that in some cases you don't have to have all that fancy oils like like I've been dropping into my <laughs> cream. Sometimes when I'm extra, like extremely dry and sensitive, I will go just for the regular vitamin E oil from any pharmacy like Target or Walgreens or CVS. So you go there, you buy the store brand, it's cheap and it make, works wonders. So I have here um, 12,000 milligrams vitamin E oil. I just apply it to my entire face for the night. And in the morning it's plum <laughs> like a baby's skin. Uh, but don't do that really often. It's just extreme uh, urgent first aid remedy. And uh, I have the Jason. I'm not sure about how to read this brand correctly. It's vitamin oil 5000, I-N, I-U, whatever it is. Uh, it's skin oil and 
you can also put it all over your body but I don't use it on face I use it on like dry areas like elbows sometimes hands knees um, whatever you have <laughs> issues with your body let's go to the scrubbing <laughs> shall we exfoliating is everything for me I don't do it that often like once a week maybe uh, but I have two options I really in, I'm really in love with uh, one is on the pricier side and I don't have the full size because I've just tried it like maybe a day or two ago I'm buying it at my earliest convenience because it is magic it is uh, Kate Somerville exfoliate it is just a sample but I'm obsessed and the other one totally inexpensive the easiest thing you can find like the most affordable but so so good so and with these both face scrubs what I do I love to leave it on my face for some time uh, for example I will go to the shower I will scrub my face I will exfoliate it and then I'm not washing it off right away I am leaving it on because it is especially this one the Saint Ives it is salicylic acid there and uh, it treats deeply <laughs> your blemishes and imperfections and uh, if you will leave it on for a second you will give it like more time to work so for the masks um, I'm in love with two masks uh, one is by Caudely uh, it is instant the top mask the pink one it smells just amazing um, I love the face products of the natural smells I don't like the perfumed ones or overpowered ones so this one is just like everything it cleans pores so nicely everything it states it does perfectly and I would say it's a mud mask and the other natural uh, is kills rare earth deep pore cleansing mask and it is with Amazonian white clay it has the natural clay smell obviously pores are clean minimized your face is brand new uh, however both of these masks are extremely extremely drying so for now I don't have favorite hydratating mask but uh, I have a lot of other things to show you so stay with me so I know I've been showing it in my videos but I want to mention it one more time because it's such a fave of mine um, it's Caudalie Beauty Elixir and this stuff I'm living for it it is the elixir you spray on top of your makeup on your bare face uh, in the morning in the daytime whatever you want it and it just make me feel alive especially when you are in a hotter climate or when it's summertime my skin goes crazy it just doesn't Feel comfortable there I can't use any lotions I can't use any creams two things I'm living with at the humid and hot climate is my Sisley lotion and this stuff so let me have a little moment for myself now good night <laughs>